Hello everyone, tonight I will talk a little bit about pipe accessories part type. There is no much information about where you can read or study about it, so I will share a little bit of my experience. The part type have eight options. Attach it to, breaks into, end cap, inline sensor, normal sensor, valve breaks into, valve normal. They can be grouped according to their behavior when you place them in the project. So when you want to insert, you have mainly four kinds of behavior, okay? Attach it to, then breaks into, inline sensor and valve breaks into are inserted the very same way, okay? End cap and sensor also are very similar and also the way to create a family is exactly the same in this in each of these and normal involve normal are the fourth fourth type okay after we insert the family in the project when you select and you want to change the part type they will be grouped in six different sets attach it to breaks into an inline sensor end cap and sensor normal then valve breaks into and valve normal so if you insert one family that's break into you can exchange it with an inline sensor but not with a valve breaks into for example another difference when you have valves and the other parts is that in the k coefficient table you have many many options that you don't have in the other kind of families let's see what we have in attached to so this family attached to the outer side of the pipe but it does not cut it okay another thing is after you insert it maybe position it a little bit let's say inside the family but as long as you move the pipe a little bit, it will go to the proper position. This is the result I have making some tests. We will see this in Revit. The pipe connector does not read the pipe size. So any value you put in the pipe connector, it's okay. The way to construct the family is similar to a pipe fitting cap. You can put the connector pointing to the left or pointing to the bottom. This is the two ways I tried and they worked. I didn't try other ways. Maybe it can work even in other positions. And the connector is set as fitting. And here is an image of a kind of sensor, for example, that can be used as attaching to. Now you can see it has a clip and gets attached to the pipe, but does not perforate the pipe, you just get uh, in contact with the outer surface. So now let's see how to use attach to family. So pipe accessory, attach to, and then I'm zooming in. So I can use any of these edges to place it. I will use the center line and will be placed. So you can see it's connected to the pipe because the color changed okay and it's attached to here but the position is not the proper position and if i edit a little bit here the pipe it will go and be just touching the surface okay so if i go to the 3d view and see here we can see it's just touching the face of the pipe okay if we select here the size of the connector is zero so no matter the value it will work let's see the family so the family mainly looks like a brick so it's from the reference level to up and the connector is just in here okay and i put zero the uh, diameter value it can also can work if you rotate this 90 degrees so 
the connector is pointing to the left and the extrusion is this side on the right side so if you're looking from the top if the extrusion is this side and connector in the middle what is important is that in the case you change here the, con the geometry is centralized so the pipe connector is aligned to the reference level okay so this is the main thing you should care for attached to family okay in the parameters there's no much to do yes I create this uh, nominal diameter but this is not in use and the cap and sensor the family attached to the end of a pipe like a cap in this case the pipe connector reads the pipe size so when you insert it can read the pipe size and adjust the size properly if you use lookup tables the family creation is similar to a pipe fitting cap with a connector pointing to the left and the connector is set as fitting here is an example of a gauge that can be used as end cap or sensor now we're gonna see end cap pipe accessory part type so if I come here and can close to here it will move to the end okay and if I use sensor one it will behave as similar okay so they can read the value of the pipe as you can see and adjust the geometry accordingly okay let's see how the family is created let's go to edit family so it's created like a cap so the connector is pointing to the left and I have the geometry on this side and it have to be aligned to the reference plane so this is very simple construction okay in the parameter side there is nothing just nominal diameter to connect we have here this option but we have no coefficient here breaks into an inline options so this family will be inserted in a, in a pipe and will split it into segments like a union for example the pipe connectors can read the pipe size and adjust the size accordingly when inserting after inserted they will not change the family creation is similar to pipe fitting union so you will draw it horizontally the axis in the reference plane and you have a connector the main connector in the left and the second connector in the right the connectors can be set as global and require other settings especially the coefficient factors for loss or for pressure drops and this kind of things that can be necessary okay so here are some examples of a, a sensor inline sensor and y filter and above valve, for example that can be considered in this part type now let's see breaking into pipe accessory so let's select here use breaking into and if i click here it will split and adjust the size okay and if i use inline sensor the behavior is similar it split the pipe and it connects in the middle okay now let's see this family to see how it was created so we come here if you go to reference plane you see that is in the middle okay the insert point is exactly in the middle and I have one connector here, one connector here, both set to global because then I can set if I have any pressure loss or whatever. And in the front, they are also aligned to the reference plane. So it will behave exactly like an union, yeah, but fit in union. Okay. And in here, we can have some parameters like here, if we can like we have this one 
that's connected to the diameter parameter. So here I have 40. If I check here, it's changed size to 40. You can read the value. Okay. Normal and valve normal. This is a little bit different. This family can be placed at the end of a pipe segment or you can place it first and connect pipe from it. It will not split or connect to the end cap automatically. The workflow of using it is mostly placing the pipe accessory and then getting pipes from it. The pipe connectors can read the pipe holes when inserted. I will show you in a sequence how to connect a normal part type directly to a already present pipe. Family creation is similar to pipe fitting multiport, which means that there is no fixed orientation. Only I try to keep when I do this kind of content is that the main connector always pointing left. But in this case, if it's not in the reference plane or is uh, offset from it, it's okay. Mainly will be global because you need to set up the other parameters. So here are some examples of uh, this kind of valve or normal filter. For example, you have an input in one direction and output in the bottom, for example. Now let's see how normal pipe accessory part type works. So I will come here and one way to use it, I can place it anywhere and then I select here and create pipe from here. So this is one way to work with this family. Okay, let's see in 3D how it looks like. So it's similar to connecting a plumbing fixture or something like that. Okay. Another way to use it, I can press spacebar and select which end I want to connect. So this end that being selected will connect to the end of the pipe. This is the way to use this normal and normal valve. Let's see how the family was created. So here I have nothing, uh, no, actually no restriction on how to create it. So if we see here, none of the, none of the connectors is uh, aligned to reference plane. So I can create them in any position and in any directions without any problem. Okay. And if we go to the properties, we have nothing here. Okay. Just coefficient. Now let's see how valve pipe accessory are different from the others. So here we'll use a valve break into. So I come close here and it will split the pipe in two segments. Okay. And it looked like this, it's okay. If I select here and go to edit family, I can check the properties. And here in the K coefficient table, I have many options. So you can choose the corresponding one for the valve you're creating, or you can use a K coefficient if you prefer, up to you, okay? So this is it, this is my knowledge about pipe accessory part types. I hope you enjoyed and if you want to ask for something please write in the comments below.